let's look at the second type of special integral uh, where we want to prove that integration of 1 over x squared minus a squared dx is 1 over 2a natural log of x minus modulus of x minus a over x plus plus c and using this we will uh, integrate this function okay so uh, we've got integration of 1 over x squared minus a squared dx now this is nothing but integration of 1 over difference of two squares that is x minus a times uh, x plus a dx okay now the next step is interesting this is nothing but integration of 1 over uh, x uh, minus a uh, minus 1 over x plus a dx now this is a very interesting step now if you simplify this the numerator will become uh, just to explain that the numerator will become x plus a x plus a and you got a minus here so minus x plus a over x minus a x plus a okay so in the numerator we are creating a we are having 2a uh, if this and this are to be equated there's nothing wrong with this okay this is what we want but we are having 2a in the numerator now to cancel that 2a in the numerator I'll divide by 2a so this and this are the same step so th this 2a because this will simplify to 2a over x minus a times x plus a I hope you can see that now to cancel this I put a 2a here so this is nothing but 1 over 2a and I can distribute the integration this is integral or integration of 1 over x minus a dx minus integration of 1 over x plus a dx I am putting 1 over 2a out as common so what will happen this is equal to 1 over 2a times integration of 1 over x minus a is nothing, nothing but natural log of modulus of x minus a because uh, log is not defined for negative numbers so that's why you put a modulus minus natural log of uh, x plus a plus c okay and uh, using the log definition or uh, when you're taking a log that is same as natural log of x minus a over x plus a plus c and that's what we wanted natural log of uh, 1 over x, uh, integration of 1 over x squared minus a squared dx is 1 over 2a times natural log of modulus of x minus a over x plus a and that's done okay so now let us integrate uh, integrate 1 over 9x squared minus 4 so integration of 1 over 9x squared minus 4 dx now we want uh, in this form of x squared minus a squared so I don't want this 9 here so what I'm going to do is let me change color so this is nothing but 1 over 9x squared over 9 minus 4 over 9 dx now here you're dividing by 1 ninth that means you're multiplying by 9 so as you're multiplying by 9 you have to divide by 9 that means same as multiplying by 1 ninth so this 9 will go up and here this 9 is ready to cancel that 9 so this is nothing but 1 ninth times integration of 1 over this is nothing but x squared minus 2 over 3 the whole squared dx so this is same as uh, integration of 1 over x squared minus a squared dx okay so let me rewrite so integration of 1 over x squared minus a squared dx is 1 over a 1 over 2a 1 over 2a times natural log of what did we write x minus a over x plus a plus c 
So now we're going to say uh, our A, when you compare this with this, we can say A is nothing but two thirds. Okay. Therefore, therefore I can say integration of one over nine x squared minus four is equal to one over two A. What is A? A is Oh, you got already one ninth there so let me put first the one ninth times uh, you got this one over 2a this is one over two times two thirds times natural log of x minus two thirds over x plus two thirds plus c okay so let us simplify this so this is nothing but one ninth times this is four thirds dividing by four thirds is the same as multiplying by three quarters this three will go up times natural log of this is this becomes three x minus two over three x plus two and the three and three will get cancelled plus c and this is three out of thirty six which is nothing but one twelfth natural log of 3x minus 2 over 3x plus 2 plus c. Now just to confirm whether this, just to explain uh, in a different way, uh, if you differentiate this, you should get this back. Okay, so let us also do, uh, let us check whether the integration is right in a reverse order. To check let us differentiate this, so we are finding d by dx of 1 12th times natural log of, uh, this can be written as natural log of, uh, let me write the whole thing first, 2 over 3x plus 2 plus c. So let me put the 1 12th out, so this is d 1 12th times d by dx of this is nothing but natural log of 3x minus 2, 3x minus 2, uh, minus uh, natural log of 3x plus 2, plus 2, uh, plus uh, this, the d by, df, d by dx of c, plus d by dx of c. Okay, so this is 1 12th times d by dx. Okay, so let me directly do it now. What is d by dx of? Natural log of, this is 0. Okay, so the d by dx of a constant is 0. So, when you, uh, the differentiation natural log is 1 over x. Okay, so using the chain rule, it is uh, 3 times 3x minus 2, 3x minus 2, minus 3 over 3x plus 2. So this is nothing but 1 12th times, this is 9x plus 6, minus 9x plus 6 over this is 9x squared minus 4. So this is nothing but 1 12th times this becomes 12 over 9x squared minus 4, which is nothing but 1 over 9x squared four minus 4. So we have also checked that when you're integrating this answer, you get the integral back.